Yesterday was fun. We had opportunity to recognize many of our colleagues in the same profession, marketing and business, many well-known names, and many names discovered by Dr. Bhatia and his research team who have been doing excellent work in their own areas and many of us perhaps were not aware of their contribution to the society as well as the profession. So I think once again let us all give a big applause to those who received <laughs> accolades yesterday. Talking about today's agenda, what we have lined up today is something which I am sure each one of you will take back learnings and memories from. Today there are sessions on building global brands, storytelling, relevance of organizational culture in whatever the organization does. Each one of these topics deserve perhaps one whole day. But like all conferences, this one has limited time at our disposal. So we will make do covering all these sessions in one day. Hopefully our learned speakers will bring them alive for you in the limited time available. Let us take a minute on each one of them. First and foremost, brand building or if I may say, global brand building. If we go back a little bit in time, till 60s, global brand meant generally a brand from Europe or North America. And in North America, we can be more precise, it meant American. The approach which Western brands took was that of house of brand. Typically a brand was identified with a product. If typically companies were single brand companies which built global brands. So Coke and Pepsi will become among the first global brands and at that time they were single brand, single product companies, cola products. On the other hand, when Asian brands entered the scene, they typically came with master brand approach. So 60s and 70s, when Japanese brand came, followed by Korean brands, they came typically from business houses as distinct from a company. Typically these business houses had operations in more than one product category. So Japanese and Korean brands which came in 60s, 70s, 80s came representing a master brand and same brand may be stretched across the product categories. It is only towards late 90s when other countries from Asia joined the efforts in brand building. Recent study has shown Hyundai for the first time coming in the top 100 global brand list of Interbrand. India has joined the race in 21st century. We at least have a declared ambition to be among the 50 most admired global brands for brand Mahindra in next 10 years. But the difference in approach is that Mahindra will be a master brand across the product categories from aeroplanes in Australia to SUVs in Korea to scooters, motorcycles in India to tractors in China or US or IT in Europe. 
we will love to hear more in today's session the differences in brand building as practiced in northern hemisphere vis-a-vis -vis, let us talk about south <laughs>